Well, it looks like the industry experts are out lying in force. There was an article released today by a leading industry magazine um, citing reaction from industry experts about property prices. Um, reading through it, I'm not really sure whether I should be laughing or screaming with rage because I literally cannot believe the blatant rubbish that they are coming out with. I noted down a few of the sort of words or quotes that they've used and I'm sure you will find them just as amusing as I did. Uh, small correction, rebalancing, reaction to budget, buyers are undeterred, here's a great one, a softening of the market, market returning to normality. This guy's blatantly lying. Prices will continue to rise. And this last one just tiptoed around it. A turbulent few months ahead with more sales falling through. These people should be ashamed of themselves. You, the public, look to us in the industry for professional and impartial advice. And sadly, for the main part, this is not what you are getting. It's very important that a professional within the industry relays the facts um, exactly as they happen, verbatim to their clients, so that their clients can make an informed decision about what they will do. When prices do fall, it actually the only people that really lose out when prices fall are people at the very end of the chain who want to sell up and move to Costa del Hot Beach or wherever they wish to go. For everybody else, it actually doesn't matter or it could even benefit them. Let's start off with first time buyers. My advice still stands. If you are a first time buyer, buying a new build with a small deposit over the next couple of months, I would not go ahead. You have nothing to lose because these the, the prices are not gonna go up, no way, but you have everything to gain because if you are buying what is invariably overpriced as new properties are with a very small deposit, don't rely on that valuation. As I have said before, the valuers are in the pockets of the developers. Most valuers are small out, uh, outfits with two, three, five, six surveyors. They don't stand a chance if they upset the developers who will have them in court just like that. So the valuers dare not downvalue new build property. That's why it's rare that it actually ever happens. But you buy a new build house with a small deposit today, and if your circumstances change and you need to sell it in six months to a year, that same valuer will not hesitate to knock tens of thousands off the valuation of your property because you are not the threat that the developers are. So first of all, we need to see what's going to happen, how the OBR report is going to be um, digested and how the market's going to react to that. The budget has been put back to the 17th, I believe. Once again, we need to see not only what they will do, what will happen there. Tomorrow, the Bank of England Interest Rate Committee is going to sit. Let's see what happens with interest rates and once again, how the market reacts to that. So with the budget being pushed back to the uh, middle of the month, you need to really give it at least until the end of this month, early next month to see where the land lies. But once again, we're, we're still at the same point where these professionals are blatantly lying to you. And they can get away with it because sales agreed now have to go through progression, which will take three or four months until they complete. And then it takes another three or four months before the prices are published on the land registry. And that is the first time we know officially, factually, what the selling prices are. Ignore the asking prices, it's the selling price that matters. In six or seven or eight months when these prices do become public, these guys will cover themselves, they'll have their excuses ready, 
but if you've signed at the dot on the dotted line now then you could have made a decision that could cost you dearly because you never know what life is going to throw at you uh, i believe that misadvising clients misadvising the public with something like property prices um, is shameful and by rights these people should be called out um, i have made a note of who they are and i will refer back to them in the future i've noted what date it is today and when the figures for the current period start to be made public in a few months time i'll be looking back at what some of these people in the industry have said as i um you know as i've already said we in the industry should be relied on upon to give you professional advice and these people are just blatantly lying through their teeth and i believe that's wrong i've written an article with the full with the full text I'll post the link to it um, along with this video and I'd love to hear your thoughts. As always, I'll see you in the next video.